Once again, France is left stunned and shocked by Burkina Faso. In recent years, Burkina Faso has made substantial strides in addressing the pervasive terrorism that has plagued its economically vital gold-rich regions, notably focusing on the Jibo Greenstone Belt. This region, situated in northern Burkina Faso, holds immense geological significance due to its rich mineral deposits, primarily gold. The government, led by President Ibrahim Traor, initiated a sweeping military campaign aimed at dismantling entrenched terrorist groups that had exploited the area's resources for years. The Jibo Greenstone Belt is a crucial geological formation within the larger West African Craton, renowned for its extensive mineral wealth. Comprising metamorphic and volcanic rocks shaped by millions of years of geological processes, this belt has attracted significant local and international interest due to its potential for substantial gold reserves. However, its economic promise has been overshadowed by security challenges posed by terrorist activities. Burkina Faso's effort to regain control of this strategic region underscores its commitment to restoring stability and security. The military operation, launched under President Kabore's leadership, signifies a pivotal moment in Burkina Faso's fight against terrorism, demonstrating the government's determination to protect its natural resources and foster economic development. While Burkina Faso has primarily led the charge in combating terrorism in the Jibo Greenstone Belt, international assistance has played a supplementary role. Regional and international partners have provided support in terms of training, intelligence sharing, and logistical aid, bolstering Burkina Faso's efforts. The Jibo Greenstone Belt in northern Burkina Faso stands out as a region rich in valuable minerals, particularly gold, which is found in economically viable high-grade deposits. This abundance makes it a focal point for mining companies and investors seeking substantial returns. The economic potential of the Jibo Greenstone Belt is transformative for Burkina Faso, promising significant revenue generation for the government and creating numerous job opportunities across various sectors such as transport, logistics, and services. Investment in mining infrastructure could also catalyze improvements in critical areas like roads and energy supply, further fostering economic development in the region. Beyond its economic allure, the strategic importance of the Jibo Greenstone Belt is underscored by its mineral wealth, which has attracted diverse stakeholders, including multinational mining firms and local communities. Unfortunately, the region's attractiveness has also drawn the attention of terrorist groups who exploit its resources to fund their operations. This has created a complex security environment characterized by violence, kidnappings, and attacks on both local populations and legitimate mining operations. In response, Burkina Faso, under President Ibrahim Traore's leadership, has undertaken comprehensive military operations aimed at dismantling terrorist networks and restoring order. These efforts are essential not only for securing the region, but also for enabling lawful exploitation of its resources. By prioritizing security in the Jibo Greenstone Belt, Burkina Faso aims to mitigate the destabilizing impact of terrorist activities, thereby creating a safer environment conducive to sustainable economic growth and development. The Jibo Greenstone Belt in northern Burkina Faso represents a region of immense geological and economic significance, primarily due to its abundant gold deposits. This geological treasure trove holds the potential to significantly boost Burkina Faso's economy, offering a substantial revenue stream that could dramatically increase the nation's GDP. The prospect of prosperity through gold mining extends beyond mere economic growth. It promises to create thousands of jobs directly in mining operations and indirectly in sectors like transportation, equipment manufacturing, and supply chain services. This influx of employment opportunities could elevate living standards, and reduce poverty in the region, fostering sustainable development. Moreover, the development of the gold mining industry in the Jibo Greenstone Belt is poised to attract substantial investment in infrastructure. Improved roads, energy supplies, and water systems not only support mining operations, but also enhance overall community infrastructure, benefiting local residents and businesses alike. Foreign direct investment in the mining sector could further bring in capital, technology, and expertise critical for long-term economic growth and stability. However, the region's economic potential is severely undermined by persistent security challenges. The Jibo Greenstone Belt has become a hotspot for terrorist groups who exploit the mineral wealth to fund their operations. These groups engage in illegal mining activities, 
establishing a parallel economy that not only robs the state of revenue, but also contributes to environmental degradation and social instability. The presence of terrorist activities creates a hostile environment for legitimate mining operations, hindering the region's full economic development. Errorist activities in the Jibo Greenstone Belt have resulted in frequent violent incidents, including attacks on mining sites, kidnappings of workers, and extortion of local businesses. This pervasive insecurity has created an environment characterized by fear and instability, which has deterred legitimate mining companies from investing in the region. Compounding this issue is the challenging terrain of the area, which is rugged and remote, providing natural cover for terrorist operations. Additionally, porous borders with neighboring countries facilitate the movement of armed groups, complicating government efforts to effectively monitor and control the area. Local communities often bear the brunt of this instability, suffering from disrupted livelihoods and displacement, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. In response to these challenges, the government of Burkina Faso has intensified efforts to secure the Jibo Greenstone Belt. Military operations have been launched to dismantle terrorist networks and regain control over the region. These operations employ advanced technologies, such as drones for surveillance and precision strikes, alongside traditional ground forces. The objective is to establish a secure environment that can attract and safeguard legitimate mining operations. President Kabori's administration recognizes the critical economic and strategic importance of the Jibo Greenstone Belt, particularly its rich gold deposits, which are vital for Burkina Faso's economic future. The government's approach includes not only military intervention, but also community engagement and international cooperation. This multifaceted strategy aims to not only combat terrorism, but also to improve socioeconomic conditions in the region through infrastructure development, healthcare initiatives, and educational improvements. By addressing both security and development needs, Burkina Faso seeks to stabilize the Jibo Greenstone Belt and unlock its full economic potential for sustainable growth. By addressing the basic needs and grievances of local communities, the government aims to diminish the influence of terrorist groups and foster a more cooperative and peaceful environment. A significant focus has been on creating employment opportunities by involving local communities in legitimate mining activities. This not only provides economic benefits, but also gives locals a vested interest in maintaining security and stability in the region. Community leaders and local stakeholders are actively engaged in dialogue and decision-making processes, ensuring their voices are heard and their concerns addressed. International cooperation has been a crucial component of Burkina Faso's response to terrorism. Recognizing that terrorism is a transnational threat, Burkina Faso has sought support from neighboring countries and international allies. Collaborative efforts in intelligence sharing, joint military operations, and capacity building have significantly enhanced the effectiveness of the government's counterterrorism initiatives. Partnerships with international organizations and foreign governments have provided Burkina Faso with additional resources and expertise. These collaborations have facilitated the acquisition of advanced military equipment and the training of Burkina Faso's forces in counterterrorism tactics. Furthermore, international aid and investment have been directed towards development projects in the Jibo Greenstone Belt, helping to create a more stable and prosperous region. One of the most notable achievements of Burkina Faso's recent military operations has been the successful reconquest of Commune 6, a strategically vital area within the Jibo Greenstone Belt. This commune had been under terrorist control since 2019, serving as a stronghold and operational base for various extremist factions. The liberation of Commune 6 marks a significant victory in the fight against terrorism and is a critical step toward restoring stability and governance in the region. Commune 6 is rich in cultural heritage and economic potential, particularly due to its proximity to gold deposits. Historically, it has been a bustling area with vibrant communities engaged in agriculture, trade, and artisanal mining. However, terrorist occupation drastically altered the landscape, imposing draconian measures on the local population, exploiting the area's resources to fund their operations, and using the region as a hub for planning and launching attacks. The prolonged occupation led to disrupted local economies, significant displacement of residents, and created an environment of fear and oppression. Human rights abuses, including forced labor, 
extortion, and violence were rampant, and the area served as a launch pad for attacks on surrounding regions, impeding government stabilization efforts. The operation to reclaim Commune 6 in the Jibo Greenstone Belt was meticulously planned and executed, involving a combination of ground assaults, air support, and intelligence-driven strategies. The military's approach was multifaceted, aiming not only to defeat the terrorists, but also to minimize civilian casualties and infrastructure damage. This required precise coordination among various military branches and the use of advanced technology to gather real-time intelligence. Drones played a pivotal role in the operation, providing continuous surveillance and detailed mapping of terrorist positions and movements. This allowed for targeted strikes that neutralized key enemy assets while avoiding populated areas. The ground forces, comprising well-trained and equipped battalions, executed a series of coordinated assaults to dismantle terrorist defenses and secure critical points within the commune. A significant aspect of the campaign was the emphasis on psychological operations aimed at weakening the terrorists' resolve and garnering local support. The military broadcast messages encouraging defections and assuring the population of their safety and the government's commitment to restoring normalcy. These efforts paid off as several terrorist fighters surrendered and local communities began cooperating with the military, providing valuable intelligence and support. A crucial element of the post-reconquest strategy was fostering community engagement and reconciliation. The government recognized that sustainable peace required addressing the root causes of conflict and building trust with local communities. Programs were launched to facilitate dialogue, promote social cohesion, and support victims of violence. Educational campaigns were implemented to counter extremist ideologies and promote civic values. Local leaders and civil society organizations played a vital role in these efforts, helping to mediate disputes, provide social services, and ensure that the needs and voices of the community were heard. Integrating community perspectives into the rebuilding process was essential for creating a sense of ownership and shared responsibility for the future of Commune 6. Military moderation has played a role in Burkina Faso's control of terrorism, contributing to the recent successes in the country's campaign against terrorism. The successes in the Jibo Greenstone Belt have highlighted the critical importance of military modernization. Under the leadership of President Ibrahim Traore, the Burkinabe military has undergone significant reforms aimed at enhancing its operational capabilities, technological edge, and overall effectiveness. These modernization efforts have been pivotal in transforming the military into a formidable force capable of addressing contemporary security challenges. A primary focus of military modernization has been the acquisition and integration of advanced technology. The introduction of drones for surveillance and combat operations has been a game changer. These unmanned aerial vehicles provide real-time intelligence, allowing for precise targeting and reducing risks to ground troops. The ability to monitor terrorist movements and gather critical data has significantly improved the military's strategic planning and operational execution. In addition to drones, the military has invested in upgrading its air fleet. Advanced aircraft equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry and reconnaissance tools have enhanced the military's capacity to conduct aerial strikes and support ground operations. This aerial superiority has been crucial in maintaining continuous pressure on terrorist groups and disrupting their activities. The synergy between air and ground forces has been strengthened, leading to more coordinated and effective missions. Reforms have also focused on modernizing the ground forces. The Burkinabi military has placed a strong emphasis on equipping soldiers with advanced weaponry and protective gear. New rifles, armored vehicles, and communication systems have been introduced, ensuring that troops are well prepared for various combat scenarios. These upgrades have increased the firepower and mobility of the ground forces while also improving their resilience and survivability in hostile environments. Training programs have been overhauled to include specialized instruction in counterterrorism, urban warfare, and guerrilla tactics. Soldiers undergo rigorous training regimes that emphasize physical fitness, combat skills, mental toughness, and strategic thinking. This comprehensive approach to training ensures that the troops are versatile and capable of adapting to the complex and dynamic nature of modern warfare. Effective command and control are essential components of a modern military. 
The Burkinabi military has implemented advanced command and control systems that facilitate seamless communication and coordination across various units and branches. These systems enable real-time data sharing and decision-making, allowing commanders to respond swiftly to changing battlefield conditions. Leadership development has also been a key aspect of military modernization, with programs aimed at cultivating leadership skills and strategic acumen among officers being accelerated. By fostering a culture of initiative and accountability, the military aims to build a cadre of leaders who can effectively guide their units in challenging situations. The modernization of the military has had a tangible impact on Burkina Faso's counterterrorism efforts. Enhanced capabilities and improved coordination have led to significant successes in reclaiming territories and dismantling terrorist networks. Operations such as the reconquest of Commune 6 have showcased the military's ability to execute complex missions with precision and efficiency. These modernization efforts have also boosted the morale and confidence of the troops. Equipped with better tools and training, soldiers are more prepared and motivated to undertake challenging missions. This has fostered a sense of pride and professionalism within the ranks, further strengthening the military's effectiveness. If the region is fully under control, it will lead to substantial economic benefits, primarily through resource access. The strategic exploitation of resources, especially gold, promises to transform the nation's economy by fostering development and prosperity. Properly harnessing the value of gold reserves requires addressing existing challenges. Gold exploitation stands to significantly boost Burkina Faso's GDP. The mining industry is a major contributor to the national economy, and tapping into the extensive gold deposits of the Jibo Greenstone Belt could elevate this contribution. Increased gold production would enhance export revenues, leading to a stronger trade balance and greater financial stability for the country. The influx of revenue from gold mining would provide the government with critical funds needed for public investments. These funds could be allocated to essential sectors such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure, driving comprehensive development. Enhanced revenue streams would also enable the government to implement poverty alleviation programs, improving the quality of life for many Burkinabe citizens. This is why securing this region is a priority. Do you think Burkina Faso is doing the right thing? Will terrorism end soon? Let us know in the comments section. Will Western interference end as Burkina Faso no longer needs military aid? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If so, subscribe to our channel.